By all accounts, last week's World Men's Curling Championship in Beijing was a huge success. The first major curling event to be held in China and the first Men's World Championship to be held in all of Asia finished up on Sunday with Norway as the champions, and East-West Sports was right there on the scene. Aidan Barua has more from the ice in today's special edition of The Big Feature. After a week of round robins and semi-finals involving 12 teams and 70 games, the Men's World Curling title came down to between Norway and Sweden. Thomas Altsrud's Norwegian side had topped the round robins and then defeated favourites Canada on their way to the final. Sweden, meanwhile, needed a tiebreaker just to reach the last four. But like their opponents here, they too had bested the top-ranking Canadians. And back again at the Capital Indoor Gymnasium, this is a gold medal match in the world men's curling between Norway and defending champion Sweden. Sweden, they still sent a different side to the one that won the championships last year, so still very much all to play for for both teams. And Norway, they're chasing their first ever championships ever. And Switzerland earlier, they beat Canada, the world number one side, for the bronze medal. That score was 7-5 there. But while this goes on, we actually caught up with some Chinese fans outside earlier as well to talk about China's performance here. Remember, they were hosting this tournament for the very first time, but only managed a sixth place finish and couldn't make it past the round robin stages. So here's what the fans had to say about that performance. I think they played pretty well. I believe in the future, with their hard work, they will achieve bigger things. And since we organized to come and watch the game here, it shows curling is becoming more popular in China. Before, we rarely watched the game. But after the Sochi Olympics coverage, we understand the rules of curling. I think it's an interesting sport. From China's performance here, I think there is hope. But there is still a difference compared to a strong team like Canada. If we keep popularizing it, we may see a bigger development. I think China performed well. Curling in China needs more promotion and they need to improve. Now college students are also coming here to watch the game, so it's getting more popular. I think China still needs to improve. This time as host, the expectation was for more. But we can still see the differences compared to European countries and Canada. If we can successfully bid for the Winter Olympics, we have a huge population, so we are definitely getting stronger. Back on the sheet, Norway dominated Sweden from start to finish. And despite a late Swedish fight back, it was Alsred and company who secured Norway's first ever world championship. We were the best team the whole week and, uh, and even in the final, I think we sort of like proved that straight from the get-go we were here to win gold. So uh, this feels a oh, lot of hard work. It's good because Sweden is, I mean, they're in the final. They've, they've been really good all week. But I think it just shows uh, we've been in a lot of championships and uh, played a couple of finals in the Europeans and I've been in a final in the Olympics four years ago. So... Uh, you're kind of used to the big stage where you're only one sheet out there playing and everybody's watching so on TV and everything. So uh, this was the first final for Sweden. So I think they, uh, next time they'll be tougher. But uh, this was the first time out. So uh, I think it showed. Yeah. If we can do it this time, we can do it again and hopefully win the gold medal. So uh, I'm only 22 and the rest, the middle age, the average age is 24 of us. So yeah, we are, if you look at Thomas, he's 43. So I have a few years left. from here it's Norway who've ended up with the world championship beating Sweden 8-3 and that's me Aiden Barua signing off for East West Sports on BOM.